In this video, I'll show you the basics of blocking a buckram cocktail hat base on a block you can make at home. You'll need a towel to catch any drips. You'll need something that produces a constant stream of steam. This is a simple garment steamer from a home goods store. It does not have to be expensive. This is regular weight aluminum foil. I get mine from the dollar store. You'll need basic cling wrap, not the sticky kind. Again, from the dollar store is fine. You'll need heavyweight buckram. A kitchen knife. This is again from the dollar store. And I don't use this for anything but crafts. You'll need a 6 or 8 inch styrofoam ball. This is not the floral foam. Note the cells on the surface of the ball. You'll need pins. You can use regular sewing pins because the styrofoam is soft. Scissors that will cut buckram. Do not use fancy fabric shears for cutting buckram. You'll also need a dry iron. Either empty out the water or turn off the steam. To make the block easier to work with, cut off a small section on the bottom. This gives you a flat surface that sits on the table. Demonstrating on a smaller styrofoam ball, when you cut, keep the knife as perpendicular to the table as possible. Make short cuts and go slow. Keep your fingers clear of the blade. Now you need to cover the foam ball with aluminum foil. The foil helps protect the foam from the steam. Drape the foil over the ball and press down as smoothly as possible. Use your fingers to smooth any ridges or bumps. Cut off the excess foil at the bottom. Cover the aluminum with cling wrap and smooth it out as much as you can. Use as many pieces as you need to cover the surface. When blocking buckram, you are mainly going to be pulling on the bias. I have drawn the grain lines on this sample just so you can see them. The dashed lines are the bias. You do not need to mark your own grain lines on your buckram. Steam fogs up the camera, so I will be steaming just off camera. To start, hold your buckram over the steam about 2 inches away. This will soften it and make it pliable. You want to steam until you see the buckram wilt a little you'll notice a difference in the stiffness. Pulling on two bias corners, stretch the steam buckram out over the curve of the styrofoam ball and pin on the opposite corners. The pins need to be at an up angle to hold tension on the buckram. You can see the buckram start to take shape. Now hold the ball over the steam to soften the opposite corners. Keep the ball moving to ensure all the buckram gets steamed. Once the buckram is pliable, stretch the bias corners in the opposite direction and pin as before. You can now see a more rounded shape take form. Now we are going to flatten the middle sections around the ball. Once again, steam the edges until soft. 
then smooth down over the ball and pin. Repeat for the remaining three edges. Now, re-steam the center and one bias corner. You're going to really pull down on this corner to exhaust the bias. We want this as smooth as possible without any creases. Remove the pin and pull. Repin when smoothed out. Repeat for the remaining corners. Smooth out any remaining lumps and re-steam as necessary for a smooth surface. Your pulled buckram should be a smooth dome. With a dry iron on the cotton or wool setting, lightly press the buckram over the ball. Keep the iron moving or you will melt the foam. This step helps dry the buckram and smooth out the buckram's texture. After this step, let the buckram dry on the ball for about 15 to 20 minutes. After the buckram is dry to the touch, with a measuring tape at the approximate center of the buckram, measure out a radius that does not run off the edge of the buckram. On a scrap of oak tag or cardstock, measure out the distance you recorded and make a hole on one end big enough for a pencil or marker to fit through. Pin the oak tag to the center and use it as a compass to draw a circle. If you started with a larger square of buckram, you can get a larger circle cut. The buckram square I started with was about six inches square, which yields about a five inch or so diameter circle. Remove the pins and the buckram from the styrofoam ball. You can now cut out the circle. And that's it. You now have a buckram base that can be wired and covered. The shape contours to the head or it can be elevated off the head with wire supports. In the next video, I'll demonstrate how to cover the base and attach it to a headband. There is one more step you can do before you wire the edge. That will be covered in the next video. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, ask in the comment section and look forward to more millinery and design videos in the future.